So when we talk about Vault, it's designed to operate in a data center uh, in an online fashion. And so it was important to us from the very beginning to build in uh, multiple different layers of resiliency. So where this starts is when we talk about a single Vault cluster, we're not talking about one node running Vault. Typically, you're running three or five instances of Vault. And if the, and internally, they're doing a leader election. So one of those three instances is active and servicing traffic. If that node dies, the other two nodes within 10 to 20 seconds will detect that failure and automatically take over operation. So that within one data center, if we lose the instance that's running, within 10, 20 seconds, we're back up and running and servicing traffic again. Now, what happens if we sort of zoom out from one data center and talk multi-data center? Right? What if we lose the whole data center uh, that is running Vault? Right? The link goes down, there's a power loss, you know, whatever might occur. To handle this, Vault has a built-in notion of multi-data center replication. So what you do is run one inst cluster of Vault in DC1, and that has, call it, three different instances of Vault to provide HA within that data center. And then you run another three instances of Vault in a second data center, and they're replicating to one another. So in this configuration, if we lose a whole data center, data center one goes down, data center two is able to operate independently. So in this situation, there is no service disruption to anything running in DC2. Now, independent from that, what happens if we experience catastrophic data loss? Right? So we're running a vault cluster, and due to operator error, disk corruption, some other unforeseen event that leads to total data loss of that cluster, what do we do? Vault has a third mode built in which is known as disaster recovery replication. So in this mode, you're running your primary vault cluster, again, with multiple nodes for high availability. And then you have a second DR site that is acting as a real-time backup. So the moment any change is made against the primary site, that's being real-time replicated to our DR site, which is a full mirror. So now if we have a catastrophic loss of our primary site, what we can do is either promote the DR site and it takes over active operation, or we can use this as sort of a backup and restore that back into our primary site and bring it back online. So there's kind of these multiple different failure scenarios where we're either talking about within a single data center and the system's designed to do an automatic failover within 10 to 20 seconds. There's multi-data center where you might lose a data center and Vault's designed to have no service interruption if that takes place. And then there's catastrophic data loss to, and where the design is around being able to promote a DR site. And that promotion only is an API call in a few seconds to basically bring a DR site uh, back into active operation. So kind of multiple layers of defense built in, but really designed to operate in a production environment with mission-critical SLAs and recover quickly.